Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with Professional Fishing once again. Thought I would try a new venue here. This one is called the Valley of the Four Lakes. It's supposed to be in the United States, up near Canada. That's about the best I know. Not been there myself. Kind of hard to read because the lighting's bad. It's early, early in the morning and rainy and nasty. But I think what we're going to try to do is see if we can't... get our ATV out here. Maybe if I can get this thing up and running here we can get ourselves to one of the lakes and do a little fishing. I don't know if there's a headlight on this. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Awesome. Looks like we are well on our way here. There's a path this way. This is kind of rugged terrain. I tell you, I don't know what I'd do without this ATV. Getting around would be kind of difficult, but I see the lakeside down there, so we are going to we can do about getting as close to it without actually plowing into it. Alright, let's see. How do I get out of this again? Just hit right mouse button. Might want to pick it up. Now, can I place a tent? Yes, I can. That's probably a good idea, so I don't have to go through all that again. Now, I don't know where the best fishing spots are going to be, guys. But all we can do is come out here and this looks like a good place to fish from off this rock. There's some logs over there. There's all kinds of cover. Hmm. Well, all we can do is just see what we can do as far as fishing goes. Don't know what our abilities are going to be. Let's see if we've got anything with this fish finder up here. Well, that's not exactly what I want to do. Yeah, I think what I might do is try getting into the boat. Maybe I can get around to some of the things. Let's see, two for the engine. Let's see if we can't get. cover over here. This thing does not move fast. This looks good. Let's see here. Let me try my fish finder here. I think I remember how to do it now. I think you just click it like that and if something's there, you'll see it on the fish finder. There we go, brown trout, huh? Well, what in the world would they go for? 
Let me see here. Now they go for corn. I think they go for mayflies too, but I don't think I have any mayflies. It's a popper. See, that's a crankbait, but I don't know if that's something that they will go for. Well, there's a slim spoon. I think they do go for those. Yeah, we can always try it. I guess if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Well guys, we got another one here. This guy's got some gumption, but it seems like I have found a bass spot right over here in these reeds. I think as soon as I get my map up, I'll show you where I am. Right now, I thought I was recording. I hit, thought I hit the button and apparently I didn't. So I was sitting there talking away and there was nobody there to talk to. But there's a lot of bass over here. Check out the size of this guy. 17.90 pounds. I've already caught an 18 pounder. We can either sell him or release him, which right now I think I probably need a little more of the cash. But it seems like they're anywhere along here, and I've been just kind of looking. And if you watch long enough, you'll see some movement. You'll see one jump or something. And just to make sure you know which lure I've got, I have been using a slim or a narrow spoon. Narrow spoons seem to be really doing well. Now I have picked up with the fish finder some trout out here. I just haven't seen any or had any bite. They are out here. At least they were. Now I'm not going to get any blips at all. <laughs> there we go. There is a brown trout down there. Just not seeming to get their attention so far. The bass, however, is a different story. They are biting like crazy. I'm not going for the narrow spoons, but I'll show you just how much these guys are biting. I'll probably get another one just from throwing it over there. Told you. Damn. Yeah, they are really, really biting well over there. That is a really good bass spot. I've got the tension up all the way, but that doesn't mean he's still not going to drag it out a little bit. 
Just got to keep an eye on it. This line's pretty heavy, so. He can still pull it out, though. Just not to the point of breaking. Keep missing it with a net. Are you kidding me? There we go, we got him. Another 17 pounder. Yeah, I don't know what is up with the trout. I would think they go for this lure. Unless they're going for, like, corn or something. Could try a medium spoon. Now, in Fishing Planet, they go for the medium spoons real well. They also go for spinner baits, but I don't know if I have any spinner bait. I don't think I do. What the heck was that? Well, let's... Let's see. It's a grayling. And a bass. Oh, and a brown trout. Boy, there's a bunch of them right there. Hmm. Yeah, but are they going to go for this lure? Well, something did, but that could be the bass, too. Okay, I need to take the tension down. Whatever this is, it's much bigger than what I've been catching. Holy crap, that is not a bass. That is something like a brown trout altogether. Different here. Come on, fish. Boy, oh, he is. I can't. I'm terrible with this stupid net. Got him. There we go. He's a salmon. 32 pound or two. Nice. Nice salmon. Awesome. Definitely going to get a picture of him. It's my first salmon in this game. I think I need to XP more than I need to sell him. So they are right here, which seems like a really strange spot. I think I've been moved a little bit. <laughs> I think he drug me around a little. So he did go for that lure, after all.
Well, holy crap, I didn't. <clears throat> he grabbed that for it. <laughs> I didn't realize I had a fish. Oh. There we go, we got him. What, what the heck is he? Pike. It's a nice pike. Very nice pike. Goodbye, my friend. Have fun. Be free. I am going to put the net out here just in case. That's crazy. It's like right there, almost to the boat. And then he just grabbed it. Okay, I've been seeing a lot of activity over there. I don't know how far I can throw it, but... Got something here. No idea what. But it's big. Yeah, it's big. I'll take that tinch down just a little bit. Yeah, I think. I think he's, I don't think he's a bass. He looked a little bit big to be a bass. Or thin, I mean. Bass are thicker bodied. They seem to be in the Salmonoides family. Now if I can grab this son of a gun with a net. And we got him. Another salmon. Yes, it is. I was right. Let's see if we can get some XP, though. So we are doing pretty good. I would think the grayling would go for the same lure, honestly. I'm just going to keep trying. No, there's other species there. We've gotten two salmon. No idea what that was splashing around, but... Might try that tiger spoon again. Okay. Well, we did get something's attention. Oh, come on, fish. Okay, we are gaining on him, though. Sort ish. Ish. <laughs> okay, come on. He's coming. He's coming. Okay, he's almost in. Now if I can just... I think it might be a bass, though. Yeah, I think it's a bass. Yep, 20-pounder. Okay, that might be the biggest one I've gotten yet. Yeah, we're gonna... Get him, release him for the XP. Something is just having a splash and no good time over here. It's starting to drive me nuts. Holy crap, that would be what it is. <laughs> that was quite the pike. It just swam by me. A 
Yep, that was quite the pike. I don't know where he went, but I think he was trying to. Whoa, that was quick. They are really biting out here. Damn. When I first got here, I wouldn't get a squatting thing, but. Of course, I was also fishing offshore. The boat fishing seems to be so much better. If I get enough X, another waterway unlocked, and we can try some new species. I'd like to get a grayling before I end this episode, but they're not this big. Whatever this is, it's either a bass or another of the Salmonoides families. Come on, you need to get up a little closer than that. Yeah, it's a bass. And we have gotten a lot of bass. Where did you do that? Let me try on the other side of this rock. There is activity. It's a good sign. Excuse me. What in the hell are you doing, fish? <laughs> Alright, this I caught off the yellow spoon. Thought I'd switch it up. Yeah, I haven't been able to catch anything but the same kinds of fish. I've been trying to get some of the brown trout, but I thought, well, maybe if I switch lures, and this seems to be the hot spot, maybe I can get something different. That's what I'm hoping, but. Whatever this is, it's good size. He's still taking it out despite the fact that the tension's up to 90. But he is coming in, so just gotta be patient, see what this guy is. He is probably another salmon. I think he is, actually. Ah, you little... Ah, seriously? It's hard to get him in the net. Yeah, it's a salmon. There we go, we got him. Might be the biggest one yet. 925 XP. Well. We're definitely getting some good species. I have not been able to land a grayling or a rainbow trout just yet. And I think it's because I don't have any spinners.
let me see what do I have that I might try that I have not tried yet I think I have a rubber worm in here that I have been interested in trying this one here the rubber fish twister let's see what go if anything goes for that maybe that's a grayling bait who knows they're only showing the most commonly fished for the game This might be a bass lure, though. Well, it's not been common that I've cast this way and not hooked into something, so... Okay, something went after it. So that is a good sign. Could just be another bass, though. I don't think it's a bass though. He hasn't jumped. He's like he's trying to dive. Oh, I think it's another salmon. Yeah, it is. Salmon are pretty readily caught out here if you can get them close to the damn boat <laughs> yep and I leveled up to 15 that's what I wanted to do leveling up's a good thing I don't know what it's gonna take to get to the next level but something is really jumping like crazy over here and it's driving me nuts I don't know that I'll get a bite from over here but we're gonna give it a try well there's something Okay, now this one's this one's different. He darts. He goes zip zip zip. And he hasn't come to the surface yet, so I don't know what he is. Okay, let's see what he is, guys. There you go. Nice brown trout. Now that's a pretty fish. Look at those spots. Very nice looking fish. Now they're right here, then. So we got salmon on this side and brown tread on this one, huh? Damn. 
Okay, this is a good lure too, apparently. I thought I saw a lot of activity and heard a lot of activity over here, so. Oh, come on, you stupid fish. Don't start darting out on me here. Okay, he's good size. Whatever he is, he's pretty good size. Oh, I caught my first brown trout. Got my first salmon. I've gotten several salmon since. I like to get a rainbow trout and a grayling, especially. Now that's one of what is going on over there. <laughs> He is another salmon, small. See what I'm seeing, people? This is a primo spot. So I just like catching new stuff, but Catching anything is a good thing. Okay. I think it's another salmon. Where the hell are you going, buddy? Get over here. I thought he was going to make a break for it. Well, he's a little fella. Well, it seems like the closer I get to that rock, the more likely I am to get a salmon as opposed to something else. Yeah, it's another salmon, I think. It might be a rainbow, though. Ah, oh, good. A rainbow. Very nice. Yeah, so they're closer into this area, right here, close to the rock. Throw it, like I said, a little farther, I'm gonna get salmon. They're just not biting off the float rods, it's real strange. Who is doing that? <laughs> Irritating me here. Oh, I see ya. What are you all doing over there? 
think they're showing off. Okay, where are you going, fish? Oh boy, that's that's a big fish. He's a thick body one too. It's a bass, he's one of the biggest ones I've caught so far. Huh? Eighteen four seven pounds. I'll release him. It seems like I got a lot of fish showing off. See, there's there's the other one showing off over there. God. He's a pike. <laughs> Holy crap. There you go. Let him go. Even though he kind of... What in the heck is with these damn pike? <laughs> yep, there's another one. Like right here by my boat. They're just kind of hanging out. Damn fish, get in here. Okay, this one's big. This one's big. The other one was big, but this one may be even bigger. He just made another run for it. Damn. I got him. Oh! Man! He might actually be a record for me. I don't know. I don't know what the biggest one I've got has been, but that is a big, big pike. Holy crap. He is a monster. Definitely worth the XP, too.
Well, I haven't. Good lord. I haven't hardly even moved, and then just pulling them one run right after another. Okay, this fish is not coming in. Got it. Oh, it is cute. <laughs> it's hard not to keep doing this when you're just pulling them in and pulling them in and pulling them in. See what I mean? It's another pike. God bless it. They don't get in there just right. Got him. Damn. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. Yeah, this is definitely a good lure for this particular lake. The other ones are pretty good too. With the narrow spoon, this uh, lemon tiger wasn't bad. I think we might have us another rainbow trout here, I'm not sure. Yep. Nice little rainbow trout. Yeah, I tell you what, guys, that has been a very nice fishing trip. Now, here is where we are. We are in Kings River of the Four Lakes. So, the spot I am right now is right in dead center of it. So we still have four more lakes in this little VIP area. So we got Coyote, Angora, and what was that other one over there? I'm not sure. Aloha? Aloha. Lake Aloha. But yeah, definitely a great place. And let me show you the lure again just to, so that you know. It is this one here I placed it right here it's 
called the Rub Fish Twister 2 inch. They might have ones that are a little bit bigger. Doesn't seem to matter. But the other ones I was doing really well with, I was doing really well with uh, the Secura Schoon Slim 80 as well. And this one was also doing real well. Pro Tackle Cyclops flow Y 2 inch. So those seem to be the best of the lures for this location. You just gotta place yourself where that fallen tree is. You can see those reeds over there. There's lots of bass over there. Over here you can get all kinds of salmon. Maybe an occasional brown trout. And over on this side, brown trout, rainbow trout, lots of pike, and some salmon. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Professional Fishing. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.